Howdy everyone, tonight on a Sunday I am going to make a beef fajita botana or a platter. I am going to use uh, a package of uh, fajitas that uh, are already marinated and this is almost four pounds. Great deal. It is uh, just seasoned beef, as you can see, seasoned inside so I don't have to use any seasonings it's already done if um, we didn't have any seasonings of course I use some cracked uh, black pepper some salt some comino garlic powder the usual whatever you like also and I am also going to heat up on my griddle uh, some uh, Polish smoked sausage because uh, a good botana has a little bit of sausage in it also some chicken but I'm not going to use any chicken I'm just going to use the beef fajita and the sausage and on top of that, I am, well, yeah, on top, uh, or under it, actually, I'm going to bake some of these little, tiny, little white corn tortillas. They're little mini ones. You could use the regular size ones, or you could use the tostadas that are already toasted up for you, or even some tortilla chips. But I'm going to use uh, these little mini corn tortillas, and I'm going to put them on a, on a baking uh, cookie sheet, basically, and toast them up in the oven, or bake them until they get a little crunchy. I'm going to be using some beans for that, some nacho uh, jalapeno slices. They're already sliced up. Those will be sprinkled on top. I'm going to cook my fajitas on the griddle with some bell pepper that I'm going to slice up, some red onion, some tomato, and I'm going to squeeze some lime on it just because it, uh, let it focus, just because um, it tastes great with lime. Dress it up with some cilantro, on the side, I'm going to make some nice rice. Look at that. It's all smeared every time I grab it. A little, little chalk on there gets smeared. I'm going to make some rice with my favorite caldo de tomate with chicken flavor. That's a tomato bouillon, chicken flavor. It's a powder that I like to get, and I usually put about a tablespoon of that into about a cup of rice with two cups of water. And, of course, I'm going to go to the beans. I'm going to put some of this Mexican blend. It has cheddar, Monterey Jack, asadero, and queso quesadilla, which I'm not really sure what that means, but it's just probably just melty cheese in there. Uh, you can use any blend that you want. You can just use Monterey Jack cheese or just cheddar uh, for your, uh, your botana. This I'm going to sprinkle on top of the beans that will be smeared on top of these uh, baked tortillas. So uh, let me get started by cutting up these uh, fajitas. This uh, skirt, because it's in, it's in a kind of like a, a big folded up piece. And I'm going to open it up and cut off any excess fat that I don't want, any of the skin that might still, little bits of, I don't know what it is, skin that's on there. And then I'm going to put it on my griddle on top of my island. That's where I'm going to cook them. And I'll be back. All right, here we go. We've got some of the fajita already cut up. I'm a little upset because my favorite knife broke on me, so I wasn't able to cut these the way I wanted to cut them, I just had to kind of like do what, what I had. And uh, I've still got another piece to go, this huge piece, but my husband sharpened up his butcher knife and maybe that'll help me. I need to get some new knives, that's what I need to do. Anyway, here we go. I've got these on here and I'm going to let them grill on one side for about three, four minutes and then I'm going to turn them over and uh, let them continue cooking. And as you can see, the griddle is nice and hot and steaming. And then I'll add more of these fajitas on there. And uh, I wasn't able to trim them as much as I wanted to, like trim off the little fatty bits. But once they're cooked, I can just pull those off. And I think I can even cut them up a little bit more. And I will be back and show you how this comes out. My rice is cooking, by the way. It smells delicious. Well, and I wanted to show you, I cut my uh, fajita uh, skirt uh, steak into half and then I half that. And I still got another piece here that I need to cut into half. But I cut off strips like this. And then what I did is I cut against the grain. As if you can look at the meat, it's got these little lines going across. That's the fiber of the muscle, the, the, the meat. So what you wanna do is you wanna cut against that. And the reason that we're doing that is uh, so that when this meat cooks, these little fibers will actually be going across this way. So it'll be nice and tender when you chew on it. Otherwise, if you cut them long, then you've got these long bits of meat, so it becomes kind of a hard, uh, chewy 
a strip of meat and you don't, you don't want that. So you get it cut against and as you can see, look how pretty. Once you have a nice sharp knife, you can cut them all almost the same width. Yes, these are gonna be almost ready to put on my grill. I gotta turn these over and then finish cutting these and I'll be back. All right, uh, since I was looking at my meat and uh, after I finished cutting up the other piece into these uh, little uh, bits here, which I've now put on the grill or the griddle, uh, I've decided that this is more than enough for three people for a botana because I'm also gonna add sausage. Got some rice and beans going. Uh, well, the rice cooking, and I'm going to add some beans. So I think this is going to be enough for three people. I don't think I need to cook four pounds of uh, fajita. So I think I have more or less two pounds on here. And uh, the remainder, um, I decided that I would separate into two little baggies. So they're about a pound each. And this is enough for another dinner, or two, actually. I'll make it uh, add some... Um, some nice uh, hearty sides and this should be enough I can cut this up into smaller little bits and make like a carne guisada with it and uh, so this is what I'm going to do it's nice buying a family pack because then you decide that uh, some of it can be frozen for another night so that's what I'm going to do I'm not going to cook the whole thing these have been turned as you can see as you can, and uh, of course they need to cook because they are raw on, the, on one side and of course my griddle cooled off because the more I add on to it the less heat gets to uh, get into each little piece. This is going to take a little bit longer. And uh, another decision why I decided not to do this. And now what I've gotten prepared here is some tortillas. These little mini tortillas that I showed you earlier. On a cookie sheet here with some foil because I just want a quick clean up because I'm going to do something after uh, I've baked them. I've got it in my oven, heat it at... 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, you can choose your own temperature, whatever you, you want to bake these at. I'm going to bake these so that they get cr crispy, crunchy, or toasty in the oven. Uh, and then I'm going to spread some beans and some cheese on top. But first, uh, I need to put them in the oven. And they're going to take about maybe five to seven minutes. I'm going to check them and I'll let you know the exact time uh, that I ended up uh, baking these. All right, so the little tortillas are out of the oven and they've gotten crispy, as you can hear. And then I'm gonna spread some of this black bean, mashed up black beans on each one. And then I'm going to top them off with that Mexican cheese, the shredded cheese blend. And I'm gonna finish up with all of them. I've turned off my oven, but it's still hot. So after I put the cheese on these, I will put them back in the oven just with the heat that's in there uh, because I don't want these to burn and I just want the cheese to melt. And look, I've added some sausage. These last bits of fajita pieces are cooking. Look at how pretty they are. They're cooking on the griddle here. They're almost done. Uh, I just cut up half of that sausage that I showed you. I didn't think I needed to cook the whole packet because again, it's only three of us and really it's just me that likes the sausage. So again, I've got some meat left over for another occasion. The other pieces of uh, fajita that were already done, I've uh, cut up and they are super nice and tender. What I'm gonna do is when I, I remove this meat, I'm gonna cut that up too. Then I'm gonna put it back on here, squeeze some lemon on top to keep it hot, turn off my griddle. My bell pepper and onion are ready to be moved around. There we go. They've been grilling. I put some salt and pepper over them. I squeezed a bit of lime over them and uh, they're going to be delicious. This is going to go over my beef fajitas. Look at that. Pour some more lemon on there. Watch it sizzle. Delicious. And then I've got some chopped tomato and some cilantro ready to go to top off everything and then I will build this and I will show you how it will look. The final results. All right, and here is my botana, my fajita botana or platter. I've lined up my little tostaditas here on the side with a bean and melted cheese that I pulled out of the oven. And they're perfectly melted and crispy, crunchy. And I've layered my fajitas right in the middle, sausage over on the end. And on half of these fajitas, I have put the bell pepper and onion, a little bit of cilantro tomato on the top. And that's because my son doesn't want the bell pepper and onion. So he's got from there to dig. And my husband and I will dig from here. I've got my rice all finished here and tender and yummy. So I'm going to serve myself 
a plate. And I probably want two of these little tostadas on my plate. And I do want some of this fajitas with uh, bell pepper on my plate as well. I'm making a mess of the platter now, that's okay. I already took my picture for my presentation. So this is how I'm going to serve it, just like so. And I'm going to add some more cilantro that I have on the side here and some more of this tomato. And I'm also going to add some jalapenos on top. And I'm leaving those for last because I think I'm the only one that wants jalapenos on there. And there you go, that's my serving. Isn't that pretty? Delicious looking plate. Mmm, rice is delicious. A little fajita with a little bit of jalapeno. Right there, nice little bite. Oops, that's a lot. I'm gonna try to get that in my mouth with that. Mmm, delicious. Delicious, delicious. I hope you will try this recipe for my fajitas, which is really simple. It just took some time cutting it up. And you know what I forgot on my plate? A piece of sausage. Don't wanna forget that. Leave your comments below if you have any ideas on what you would add to this, how you would change it, or just your, your recipe. Also, please like my video and subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate that. And uh, have you tried this? I hope you do. Enjoy.